Hi everyone, Comic Book Reviewer here, this time doing another Spidey Timber episode review. Now, as you know, we're pretty much up to the two-part episode of the Season 1 final, known as Mind Games. So, mainly for the first part of September, I am going to try and do Part 1, and some point in one or two days, we'll try to do Part 2 the best I can. So, Mind Games Part 1 is meant to feature the Guinea Twins, who are a brother and sister with dangerous telepathy powers. And I think it's kind of obvious that, yeah, the Genny Twins are based on the, on, on, like, on the, on the, the, on Baron Von Strucker's children, who are meant to be twins with special abilities. And it's also kind of suggested that Roxanne Guinness and her brother have more of a relationship than does brother and sister. We see how Spider-Man tries to stop them from, from, from trying to escape from a sort of prison truck. At first, it seems like everything worked out in the end, but you kind of notice there's going to be cracks, hints, and kind of more things going on. And more and more of the pieces start to kind of slowly break apart. I think what I give the episode credit is like, it's kind of giving you hints that there's more going on. Like how Harry injured his arm on one side, then on the other side it's in a cast. And it kind of seems like, yeah, yeah, that Peter seems to be dating more with MJ and Indy. Even though, yeah, throughout the series we did see Peter more into Indy. And it kind of gives you hints that there's more going on. And I think what's interesting is, yeah, the show actually bought in Craven the Hunter. Now, keep in mind, if you have played the Spider-Man game on the Xbox version, Craven the Hunter was a boss in this one, it, it, in the Xbox version. And I think what's interesting about Craven's design here, he actually looks like what I think I would see for a more Spider-Man story. Because I know the creators stated that it was hard to get Craven's original look right, but I think they really did a good job. And I think there's a reason I would always have gone with that design than his more iconic one. Because it would make him more of an actual hunter and more kind of like I would see more what the ultimate version was intended to go for. And I think it's interesting to hear Michael Dawn, who played in Star Trek and also known for playing Killerback in Superman the Animated Series for Craven the Hunter. And they really do him right here. And I give them respect for that. And I think what's in also interesting is, yeah, you actually have Stan Lee voicing a kind of lackey, giving Peter kind of advice on revenge. And I think it's interesting to kind of see Stan Lee play the role as a bit of a villain. And kind of playing the role of kind of giving Peter the advice on revenge. And I think throughout the episode, yeah, it's kind of like showing more what's going on, but we kind of see more cracks, more slip-ups, and more mistakes being shown. Showing that the Genny twins are easy to kind of make things slip, but we know Peter in the next episode is obviously going to find out he's being tricked and conned, and usually, yeah... In a two-parter, there's always going to come some big epic final or some kind of emotional storyline. And I think they really do a good job here. I think, well, yeah, it's not a bad episode. They really are trying to build this as this big epic final, which I think they do do a good job. So I think this episode still deserves a thumbs up. Still good. And still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.